Hello everyone, this is my 100 subscriber video Q&A. Woo! Recently reached 100 subscribers and wow, just thank you all so much for subscribing and watching my videos. It really means a lot to me that you all watch my videos and thank you so much. I just, I can't put into words how thankful I am for all of your subscriptions, comments, likes, whatever. I love it. Thank you very, very much. Anyways, I asked you all what you want me to do. Q&A was what got voted for, and I asked you all to leave questions, so now I'm going to answer all your questions, so let's go. First question, Adriana over Island of Books said, would you rather own a book company or a review site like Epic Reads? Um, I think I'd rather own a review site like Epic Reads, because I won't like to be the person who produces, who like makes the books. I'd just rather read the books, not make them, so I think I'd rather have a review site like that, so yeah. Sandra asked... In what book world would you love to live in? Oh, uh, <laughs> the majority of the books I read are dystopian, and I would not like to live in any of those worlds. So I think I'm going to have to go with the answer that everyone's probably would have answered for this and say Harry Potter, because I would love to be a wizard and go to Hogwarts and yeah, just love all that stuff. I would love it. Still waiting on my letter, just hasn't came yet, that's all. Um, Cara over at Books and Things asks, what's your favourite book to movie, movie adaptation? Um, I would have to say Catching Fire or Mockingjay Part 1, but I think Catching Fire is more of a better adaptation for me. Um, I just love Francis Lawrence and I think he did a great job of Mockingjay as well. I just prefer Catching Fire because I preferred that book, so that's why it's my favourite movie out of the two. Okay, I am so sorry if I butchered your name. I have no idea how to say this. Akosiwa K. I'm so I know I butchered it, but I'm so sorry. And um, they asked, "What's your favorite food? The kind you wouldn't mind eating several days in a row?" Okay, um, I'm a really fussy eater. Now you might notice, but I'm really really fussy. I don't eat a lot of meat and a lot of veg or fruit, so I'm really I eat quite unhealthy healthy that way then, but. Um, I think I'd have to say pasta. Yeah, pasta. I love my pasta. He'll say over. He'll say books. Ask what are my bookish goals slash resolutions for twenty fifteen, and I'm gonna tell you a bookish goal, and then it's a normal resolution that I want. Okay, so bookish goal. I would really like to start writing short stories or start a novel because I want to be an author so I'd love to start doing stuff like that and I'm really like inspired to do that. I have loads of ideas in my head and I've written them down and yeah so I'm really I would love to do something like that but I don't have a, I'm not sure what like software to use to write type write on. I know I should have looked at all the stuff when NaNoWriMo was on but I didn't and I already have Microsoft Word but I don't think that's good enough so if any of you know any more software where I can do writing on let me know in the comments please and my resolution for 2015 is I want to get more uh, fit. I want to sign up to a gym and go work out more and stuff like that, which is a very, very common resolution, <laughs> but and I'm going to stick to it. Shelby over at Shelby Loves Books asked a lot of questions, so let's do all of them. She asked, what's your favourite books by an Irish author? And I am going to have to say Roddy Doyle. Uh, a lot of you won't have a clue who I'm talking about, but his books are like children related and they're really funny. And I remember this book, one book, if I can find it, I'll insert a picture here of it, but I, I can't remember what it was called. And I remember reading it in primary school and I read it, I think it's like six times because I found it so funny. Uh, I just love that book, so have definitely Roddy Dial. What is a hobby you have besides reading books? Okay, besides reading books, I love to play my guitar or my ukulele um, yeah so that's pretty much and I love going to the cinema um, watching movies all that kind of stuff but my uh, my main hobby would probably be playing my guitar I probably I just sit in my room and play my guitar usually what is your dream job dream life dream house dream job um, professional author who makes their own books and people pay money to read what I've written like that just blow my mind. Dream life. I don't know what to really say for that to be successful. Maybe I don't know. Dream house. I'd love to have like a two-story house with a long laneway 
and a big yard or I got a big ma a big like apartment flat in a city because I'd love to live in LA so my cousin Denise asked who's your favorite cousin and I knew she would ask this so I'm just gonna say you Denise are one Emily and Rachel are my three favorite cousins Um, Aussie bookworm asked do I prefer to read books set in Ireland or elsewhere in the world Um. I ha to be honest, I really haven't read that many books set in Ireland, bar the Roddy Doyle books, and so I'd probably say somewhere else in the world because, although I would like to read books in Ireland because I'd know like, whereabouts in Ireland they're talking about, but I haven't read many anyways, so I'd have to say somewhere else in the world. Okay, now I'm going to go on Twitter from questions I got on Twitter. First question is from Dancing With Books, and they asked, what Harry Potter house are you? And I am a happy and strong Hufflepuff. Yeah, and I'm proud to be a Hufflepuff. And yes, so Hufflepuff, Hufflepuff. Yes, yes, that's what that's why I am. And I got this scarf in the Wizarding World when I was visited there back in 2010, I think. So yeah, Hufflepuff. Next question is from How to Love Four, and they asked, "Am I excited for Christmas?" I am very excited for Christmas. Okay. I cannot wait for Christmas and just presents and dinner and family and laughs and I just love Christmas, I love everything about Christmas. So much fun Christmas movies, can't wait to watch The Grinch and like Frozen which is like a new favourite Christmas movie now and yeah I just can't wait for Christmas, I'm so excited for Christmas. Okay so that's all of the questions that everyone asked me, thank you all for leaving me a question to answer and I hope I answered it to your satisfaction. <laughs> Please like, comment and subscribe while you're here for more fun videos. Have a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year even though you'll probably see me before Christmas anyways but I'm just saying it because I don't know why so. That is all everyone I will see you guys all next time in my next video so goodbye.